So I will talk about uh, aesthetic in, uh, in bonsai. Uh, so I choose also uh, this tree. Uh, this kind of tree is also the, my favorite style in bonsai. Uh, so it's already styled. And, and it's also because if we work on a tree with uh, uh, no work on it, it's, all, it's also very difficult for people to, to realize and to, to understand what I want to do with the tree. So with a tree already work like this, it's easier to, to imagine the, what we can do and why uh, also. Uh, so it's a uh, Chinese uh, juniper from Japan, uh, Bunjin style. Um, so we, we can see together it's because a bonsai is never finished, we can say. So what we can do to improve the, the shape um, and also the yeah the the main design of the tree, because we, with a tree we can it depend if we if if we uh, this tree can uh, will be your tree or your tree or your tree, everybody will, will do something different with it. Uh, so aesthetic in bonsai and beauty in bonsai it's it's really it's it's a tough topics because everybody got a different uh, vision and taste. So if you go to the exhibition, some people will like this, this big massive tree, some people will like prefer the, the thin and uh, uh, like the Bunjin style and forest style. Everybody got different uh, aesthetic. So it's really, the, so it's, with bonsai you need to learn uh, the, the basic why they, 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 they make categories um, and also how you, you can uh, build a, a tree. It's not just you put wire on uh, every branch and just uh, put the, the foliage like this. You need to realize why. Why, it's, why we pretty much have uh, all the time a, a, tri a triangle for the foliage. You, you, you know uh, why we, most of the time it's a triangle? Or you just... Uh, somebody know uh, why? For the, because you can have a triangle and maybe here there is more foliage than here or here. So it's not, it's not really about balance. Yeah, exactly. It's b because of the the the, the light, the the photosynthetic in English. Yeah, photosynthetic. Because if you put uh, a branch, uh, see the branch lower, it's shorter than the the one uh, above. It will be weak, and with time, it will die. So every that's why the the the. You have this kind of triangle, but you can. There's a lot of different triangles. You can have a, a triangle with a long uh, corner here, or more uh, higher, or horizontally. It, it depends. But you, when you build a tree, you need to think a little bit, and uh, it it's almost. It's useless to, to put a branch, even you like it, it's useless, it's useless to put a branch uh, on, on the shade. Because even now it looks nice, it will not stay for, for long. Uh, so on this tree, we can talk about, uh, so there's three main things we need to look at when you build a tree, when you choose the front, it's the base, the nebari, the line trunk, the trunk line, excuse me, uh, the main branch, and also to give a direction to the apex. Some people don't, some people do, 
but when you have a direction to the apex, it gives more dynamic, your tree is uh, less boring. Because if your tree is straight, the, brain, the main branch is, uh, there is no, not so much direction, it's just like this, and your apex is really straight, you look at the tree and say, well, okay, and you, you go. But if you give direction to the apex, direction to the main branch, uh, you choose a good angle for the, the trunk line, you will have uh, something interesting with the same, same tree. But uh, if, for example, we turn this tree, maybe here, the, the dead wood, it's more interesting. But we have this big branch come to you. Uh, the the neighbor is really narrow, it's really thin. So it's maybe less interesting. From here, it's maybe more interesting on the base, but maybe the trunk line, you know, go back and come back. Well, it's not too bad, but here, you see, it's really straight. So maybe like this also, it's not too bad. There's so many, so many options. So you need to really, to, to understand why you choose that. Maybe you like, you really like this, so you want to really show it but you need to find the angle and uh, the and also give the, some direction with the foliage and the branch. This, it's easy to move, but the trunk line, you can't, for me, it's, I, I don't like to, to, to do big bending on trunks. I prefer to keep this natural line, especially with nice dead wood like this, and. And, and find the best uh, front and the best uh, angle to, to show the best of the tree. And after branches, it's easy to bring this branch over there. It's easy to bring the apex somewhere. You need to really look at all the possibilities and why, why you like it. So for this, this tree, The front was there, yeah. Because of the neighbory, it's not too, too thin. It's, there is a, some, uh, some roots over there, so it looks wider. Uh, the trunk line is nice. The dead wood, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. On, the, on both sides, here, here, you can see a lot of movement also on the, on the trunk line. The main, the main branch give a direction and the apex uh, maybe can be improved because for now you can see from the, the middle of the pot, the apex is really in the middle. And most of the time people do it because it, it looks uh, stable. But if you want to give a more, dyn uh, the tree looks more dynamic, it's better, it, I know it's difficult, the apex is always the, the most difficult part to do, to work on it, but if you can, with the branch just below, or with the main, uh, main, main branch here, just a little bit on the left or on the right, it looks so much different. So with the apex, the main branch, and the, the trunk line, you can really change completely the same tree. You want, do you have a question about aesthetic or this tree or did you see something you like or you don't like? Even, you know, the, um, the density, the balance. Balance, it's also the same thing as beauty and uh, aesthetic because everybody got a different view of balance. Maybe this, for some people, it will be really balanced. For some people, it will be, there is too much green or not enough green. It's about also proportion. Maybe this pot is 
too thick or too heavy for some people. Maybe you need a little bit uh, thinner or smaller parts. Why not? It's uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you have any question about the the tree or? Yeah. <laughs> What do you think about this tree? This tree, I really like it. Uh, for me, the pot, it's a little bit uh, too thick. Maybe with the, because for me, the, with the, the thickness of the, tr the trunk uh, and the feeling of the tree, the pot looks a little bit heavy for me. Visually, so maybe on the uh, you know nine band uh, parts, you know really round and uh, smaller, and maybe a little bit uh, older uh, pot because the pot looks nice. Even it's not clean, it's a recent pot. You can you can see it, and the tree looks pretty old. So it's also good to have um, uh, a match with the age. If you put a, a old tree on a new pot, it looks kind of weird. It, it's, some people like the contrast, but it's better if it's matching for this. <laughs> so, yeah. We, 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 I can talk uh, with a lot of stuff, but it's on detail and it really depends on the the, the owner of the tree. For me, the, the way I work with uh, the, um, the, the, my customer, I always ask them what they like in the tree, what they don't like, if they got a project on the tree or not. And, I can, and after with this, I can give them uh, my vision and uh, how I can work on the tree. So yeah, I'm done if you don't have any question. Good? Thank you.